When graphing a rational function, you need to know how to find the x-intercepts as well as the y-intercepts. x-intercept is going to be when y is equal to zero. But in reality, we don't really want to replace y equals zero because then we got to multiply the denominator on both sides and then solve for x. The easy way to look at this is just take your numerator and set it equal to zero. That's going to yield you the exact same result if you swap with zero, multiply it on both sides because your denominator times zero is just going to be zero. So skip to the good part and just put your denominator equal to zero. Now you need to be able to solve this. Well, this is a quadratic and also a perfect square trinomial. So therefore we can rewrite this as a x minus three quantity squared, take the square root of both sides and we can see that x is going to equal a three for the x-intercept. For the y-intercept, we remember y-intercept is simply going to be when x is equal to zero. Again, you could plug in zero in for all these x's, but what is it going to go to? Zero, zero, zero. And what are we going to be left with? the constant over the constant. So if you want to find the y-intercept, just simply make sure you take constant over constant. So therefore y equals a nine over three, which is equal to a three. Now, before I end this video, it's very important to understand, you need to be aware of holes. Always make sure you simplify your numerator and your denominator to make sure nothing divides out. Because sometimes students will have a hole at a y-intercept or an x-intercept, and therefore they won't exist. Fortunately for this problem, Nothing can be simpled out to a whole, so we don't need to worry about it, but it's important for you to know. 